It didn't take us long. Despite the strain, the fear, the worry, surely there's something to be said for the fact that it didn't take us long to realise that we might come here, might put all else aside, set down our cares and our concerns, and come down here to stand by the edge of water. What does it mean to feel lost and lonely, yet to know again the comfort of friends, the kindness of strangers? To see how a harbour wall like this, built generations back, and by forgotten hands reaches still right out into the sea from time to time is beaten by it lashed by it overcome and utterly inundated by it and then a day like this like something from a dream. A calm descended out of nowhere, outside and in. The jewellery of small craft bobbing here in unison, echoing those so keen to be or already out at sea. Strange to think we might be safe in the harbour's strong embrace, but still unable to embrace our friends. Our arms when we meet stiff by our sides, a new unease in our movements, our stillness in our very breath. Yet here we are, once more. Like the small, lone bird that finds the solid earth beneath its feet. After who knows how high, how long, how dangerous a flight. Like it, we too come to feed, but on air and on this light. To marvel at the floating islands like stones some legendary giant has skimmed across the waves. To admire the sheer determination of nothing more than weeds that cling to the cracks in the world, to the gaps in this existence and now and then to descend the salt-licked steps that take us down below the surface of our thoughts to our darker reflections. And from there, at last, to thoughts of home, to the meeting place of the anchor and the heart, the one entrusted to hold the other fast and granted sanctuary in these strange times and after these strange times have passed.